So I can, you know, kind of feel around in here, and what's what's happening is, um, if you know bracing, uh, you've you've got the X brace that comes through here, and then you've got these little sound hole supports that kind of come off the, the X brace, and then they go up. The, you've got a cross piece that's literally right here. And you can probably, well, I don't know in this light if you can see that or not. Let's see if we can get some light to the end. Yeah, let's try it this way. From this side. You've got this, this brace right, right there. So, in fact, what you see that just looks like the light shining in there is the light hitting that brace. And so it goes right across there. So this little this little support piece that comes from here, from the X brace over to this front bar that goes across right here. It's just this big flat brace that goes there. They got another one that's flatter that they call, I think they call it a popsicle stick brace that goes through here. But anyway, um, so I've just got pretty much what I'm going to do is um, see where these intersect. These two braces intersect. Uh, I'm going to just point probably right about here. So I'm going to want to do is cut a cleat and then cut that angle on it so that I can get a little farther away from the crack. Let's pull you in a little bit. Okay. And I don't know if that's helping or hindering here. More light, too much light, too much light. Okay, maybe like that. So this dark line you see is the uh, repaired crack and so I'm gonna the apex of these two braces is right around where my finger is pointing and so and then so depth wise I know my hands on the way now just measuring back into there I'm not quite three quarters of an inch so I'm going to cut a piece that's five eighths of an inch uh, wide the length of, by the length because I'm going to cross grain this okay I mean it would be like that if it was perfectly cross grain but that will help so uh, I'm going to make this five eighths wide and then uh, I'm just going to cut it about an inch long and then I'm going to get inside and just try to trace the angles and see what we can do and come up with getting that tucked in there nicely and like I said before, it, it's easy if you're looking down from this direction in the plane position to see an extra an extra little piece of wood right there. So I'll probably um, angle that back a little bit. All right, I'm going to go cut this, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I cut this with a piece of wood. It's five eighths by an inch, just nominally, and I, uh, I already stuck it in here once, and actually. If I just parallel this bridge, uh, the brace in front here, just square to it, I can actually just push right into the uh, the little extra brace right there, finger brace or sound hole brace, whatever. Now I looked down in there a second ago, and you're not going to see this, I know, but oh, I drew the line the opposite direction. Okay, so it looked like about a 60 degree angle. Uh, or 30 degree angle, however, whichever direction you want to talk about it from. So, but I went the wrong direction, so I'm going to, and, okay, I'll just draw it and show you. I'm just going to uh, reverse the process here, and then put it back, and so you can see now I have a piece of wood that has two lines on it. And um, all I'll do is, uh, cut it, you know, and then put it back in there and then sand it or whatever I have to do to perfect that angle. The angle looks really good that I just freehanded, but it's a little uh, a little less acute, flatter, however you want to say it. So uh, this point actually comes down 
um, that way. Okay, I can. I'm going to go cut that with the saw and then bring it back and just check the fit. All right. So while I was cutting this, I was wondering if if you're less acute, does that mean you're more obtuse? Oh, geometry humor there. Well, I wish I could show you that because that's stupid good. It's a fairly amazing how well that fits. Um, but now let me look and see. Oops. Let me look and see how. You know, I got my big fingers in the way. Um, I know what I'll do. I think I know what I'll do. I'm trying to see how far past this thing I am and then also how well on either side of this crack I might cut myself a longer piece and start over um, if I cut it if I cut it longer and bring it farther over here Yeah, I'm just going to cut it about a quarter inch longer. I just feel better about that, and I can duplicate that. So I'll be back. So I uh, I cut another piece. I actually cut it longer and wider because I wanted it to be closer closer to the uh, the edge of the sound hole here. It was a little back. Now it's right at the length of the crack, and I am going to bring it back a sixteenth inch or so. Well, let's see how that fits. Uh, where am I at? Well, that points a little long on that little modification. All right, that just took one go at the sanding block. And so let's see if I can do this without having my hand in your way the whole time. All right, so. Uh, I'm just pushed up against the front brace and then this little side brace here. I'm just tracing the sound hole right here. And then all I'm going to do, back you out a little bit now. All I'm going to do, if we can get to where you can, uh, I think it's just me not being able to see in the viewfinder. Or it's a shadow or something. Okay, you can see that little arc. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to. Trace that back about a sixteenth of an inch so it's inside the sound hole a little bit. I'll cut that out, sand it all up. I'll be back. Alrighty, so I went ahead while I was sanding the glue surface there and, and sanded off the uh, leading edges of not only the sound hole but uh, the, the one pointing up hill here so that when you're looking into it this way you virtually can't see it. Uh, I'm going to do kind of a test run here. Um, I just had those. Oh, here we go. So I'm just going to put a little pad, a little rubber pad on top because I'm just going to use this little teeny C clamp. And I could use a little, uh, you know, clamp like, like this. But to tell you the truth, um, the, that particular clamp, that brand, which is Harbor Freight, which is one of the few things I've purchased at Harbor Freight, just does not, it doesn't hold on. And I'm gonna be working, I'm gonna be working back here, you know, scraping at that, and I don't wanna vibrate that clamp loose while I'm working. So anyway, um, I'm pretty sure that that'll work. Just trying to see where Things need to be. Yeah, that's what is that hitting? Yeah, I'm going to look in there and see if that actually is lining up with everything. It looks good. From what I can tell, but yeah, it's not perfect, but I can adjust it once it's set for. 
All right, let's put some glue on this thing. This is going to be using regular old tight bond. It's in the little glue bot, but it's tight bond. So I've got it out to all the edges uh, just with the finger and then I'm just putting a little bit more in the middle so that it'll have some squeeze and double checking that that's the way I want to go. I'm going to stand up. I didn't think that was as far back as it was supposed to be. There we go. My little uh, clamp is actually pushing straight back into the uh, this uh, brace right across the top there. So that's let's just call that good. Take another look inside. actually over the other brace. I think if I move that out that brace will sit square more square. I didn't realize I was was doing that or could even do that. don't like is it's uneven because of the thickness of the pit card. Um, what can I do? You may or may not be able to tell. I'm trying to compensate for that by putting a piece of this anti-slip pad in there. Um, but I've got it folded over and it's causing trouble. Alright, 
So you see that? I'm going to try to look back in there and make sure that I'm I'm good there still. Glad I pre-checked all my my gluing tactics. All right, we are good now. All right, so going to start okay let's just tuck that in there going to start on this this area so I have a few a few tactics in mind here um, it's a little mini plane blade it's no